To become a true ally in the fight against racial injustice requires tough conversations, not just with yourself, but also with family, friends, and yes, co-workers. Finding a starting point's not always easy, and it's likely to be uncomfortable. Take that as a sign that you're doing it right. Sherry Perry is a workplace expert with Total Merchants Concepts and joins me here on The Morning Show. Thanks for being here. Hey, good morning, Bruce. So where do you start? Well, you start by recognizing that there's a conversation that needs to take place. There are a lot of business owners across the country that are not addressing this very, very sensitive issue because they're worried about saying the wrong thing, offending someone. And at the end of the day, we've got to get comfortable having difficult conversations. And you really have to take how everybody feels into account. And that includes cultural biases. Absolutely. I would say that for the most common scenario to have happen in a workplace is right now is we're, we're so sensitive about talking about it that we don't. And so if you keep three things in mind, I think that you can really help your team have this conversation. The first thing, respect. Everybody wants to be respected in the workplace. And I think that when you bring up a sensitive topic and you keep respect top of mind, and you just let your team know, hey, guys, we're going to talk about something that's a little uncomfortable. Let's really talk about it with respect. That's a good first point. And let's discuss the, the key questions you should be asking. What is diversity, inclusion, and what does it mean for you? Yeah, those are some great questions. And as long as your team uh, is basically, I mean, you'd have to be hiding behind a rock right now not to see that we've got some really, really tough issues happening in America. So when you're asking these questions, you've got to get incredibly great at listening. A lot of times we'll bring up a topic and then we'll just bonsai into the next one. But we've got to be listening to our team and asking them some really great questions. For an example, how are you guys doing? You know, We've got a lot of stuff going on right now uh, outside of these four walls. Uh, let's talk about it and let the team help you drive that conversation a bit so it's not just your agenda. And then you take what the team says and you collectively decide, how do we move forward? Well, that's exactly right. So remember I said that there are three things that people should think about. The first one is respect. The second one is belonging. Do your team members feel like they belong? And when you start asking good questions like that, hey, is there anything we do where people feel like maybe, hey, they don't belong? Ask those kinds of questions. Take down those answers and make sure that you're creating policies and procedures that support the feeling that everyone belongs regardless of their differences. The third thing that you really want to be thinking about, Bruce, is are your team members feeling valued? When you respect people, people feel like they belong and they feel like they're being valued. There's a lot less likely here for some of these horrible things to be happening in your workplace environment. And is it important that the boss also ask, how does the company assist you in doing that moving forward? Well, absolutely. I, I had a gentleman ask me the other day, you know, what if your boss doesn't want to talk about it? Well, man, that, that'd be a, a position I would never want to be in as a boss. You've got to be at the front of this particular topic. You've got to be the one driving the conversation. So if you are in a situation where the leadership in your company is not addressing this, then you may need to rap on somebody's door and say, hey, guys, can we, re we really, really need to talk about this. And you always have to measure success and see where you've fallen short and revisit the issues. Well, sure. If you're not in a constant state of never-ending improvement, your workplace culture will show it. And so one of the things that's going to happen right now is if you've not developed a transparent work environment where people can be honest and they're afraid to bring up tough topics, this is going to be an even difficult, a more difficult conversation for you. Look, the reality is that in 50 years, we really haven't made the progress we've wanted. So let's learn from our mistakes. Sherry Perry. Thanks for an engaging and uh, an eye-opening conversation. Appreciate you.